How do you use the ellipse tool here in Illustrator? So you have shape tools in Illustrator and those are usually found under the rectangle tool over here. Click and hold. You'll see a drop down list of all the different shape tools. The ellipse tool shortcut key is L. Now the ellipse tool can create circular shapes, including circles. First thing we could do is just click out here and it's gonna let us create an ellipse of a specific width and height. You can type in the measurement as well as the unit here. And we can cancel that. We can also just click and drag to create an ellipse. Now what's this ellipse gonna look like when I let go? Well, it's gonna look like whatever I have set over here on the left. I have two swatches, one for the fill and one for the stroke. In this case, the fill was white and the stroke was black. I'll go up here to my move tool or my selection tool. Shortcut key is V. Now I can click and drag to drag this ellipse around. It looks like it's see-through with an outline. However, it's actually not. Remember, it was white with a black outline. So the reason we can't see that is because we have a white canvas over here. Now, can we adjust this fill and stroke later? Yes, of course. On the right-hand side or in that same spot I showed you here on the left. Regardless, you can click on the swatch color and change that swatch color. So maybe I want this cyan fill and I want maybe a lot of strokes. So instead of one point, I want 20 point stroke, just like that. And then even in the stroke, it's kind of like a hyperlink here, you have stroke options. So I could align that stroke to the inside of the circle, the outside of the circle, or the center of the outline of this circle. I like doing the outside a lot, sometimes center. Now, if you wanted to create a perfect circle, press L for that ellipse tool and start to create your ellipse. Hold shift while you do that, and it will keep it as a perfect circle. So we created a perfect circle there. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I think more often than not, I'm creating perfect circles, but sometimes I just need a certain curve or maybe I just need an oval shape. However, hold shift to keep that in proportion with each other. Essentially, it keeps the width and the height linked together so that it's a perfect circle. Now you might notice that it created that as the same fill and stroke as the one I did before. That's because once we selected this fill and stroke, that's what it put over here in the forefront of my fill and stroke. And so when I would just create another circle or shape, it's gonna use this fill and stroke. Now, if I select this ellipse tool and I don't want it to be this, maybe I wanted it to be, this one's gonna be a pink. There's two things that happened here. First off, this ellipse or oval changed. That's because I had it selected, didn't realize I had it selected, but that's okay. This is another spot where you can change the fill and stroke. However, also, because I had this tool selected, this is what the next one's gonna look like. So we could create that out here. Now if we press V is for the selection tool, click off and deselect everything. Then I could re-change this. This one's gonna be green. Hit okay. Now you see nothing changed out here because I didn't have anything selected at the time. However, I can go back to my ellipse tool and create one. And let's, let's exit off of all of those real quick. Back to my ellipse tool. Now when I create this, it's a fill of green and the same type of stroke. There you go. And that's how you can use the ellipse tool here in Adobe Illustrator.